Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to quickly change uh, your bicycle pedals. And uh, the bike I'm using here is actually my wife's bike. The reason I'm changing the pedals is because one of her spindle actually broke. Um, so as you can see, this, this one is done for. Um, so I'm going to remove both of the uh, pedals on the original bike and I'm going to put the new one onto the bike. Um, Okay, so depending on the type of pedal that you have, um, the tool you're going to use will become, will become slightly different. Like some of the basic tools you need is a 15 millimeter, um, just regular wrench. It will work for a lot of older bikes uh, because the gap between the pedal and the uh, crankset is fairly, um, it's fairly wide. So you can fit those, uh, the thickness of the wrench onto the bike. But most of the time you'll probably want a dedicated pedal wrench tool so this one is from park tool and this is a combined wrench it have a little 15 millimeter um, wrench right on the top but the on the bottom it's actually used to remove the uh, cassette from the uh, from the rear wheel so it's a combined tool but for the pedal you're gonna be using the top part right over there okay so um, and on some of the pedals you need just different sizes of hex wrench and uh, for example this one we're going to use to replace the original one it comes with it looks like a size uh, 6 hex wrench and uh, the good part is it also comes with a 15 millimeter standard um, socket right over there so you can use any of those socket wrench right over here to um, install the pedal over here but some exemptions so for example, this one right over here, it actually um, does not have a 15 millimeter socket right over there. The only thing it have is a, that's a size eight hex wrench. So that's something just to be mindful of and make sure you have uh, the tools needed to install and remove uh, the old and the new pedals, okay? The basic tool for this one for this bike is just a 15 millimeter wrench. That's all you need to remove the old pedal. But depending on the situation, you might have to use uh, different tools such as a hex wrench um, of various sizes. Okay. So to remove the pedal, always remember on the, um, on the drive side, if you have the bike uh, standing up, the drive side is the, is the side that uh, have the, uh, the gearing and the chains. Uh, this side to remove the pedal is gonna be um, it's gonna be counterclockwise. So you always find a good point to have your wrench in, and then just and then just use a little force, and your pedal should come off. In any case that doesn't come off, use some of the um, the penetrating oil on the joint over here, and it'll help you loosen the uh, the old pedals. Okay. So remember, on the drive side with the chain, you, you remove it by turning it counterclockwise. Here you go, super easy. And I'm going to remove the uh, non-drive side. On the non-drive side, it's always going to be clockwise to loosen the, uh, to remove the pedal. So I'm going to turn it clockwise. Actually, it's this way. I already pre-loosened those uh, pedals because I'm gonna be removing them, but yours might be a little tighter than what I have over here, okay? So I'm gonna remove the old broken one, see? And if, if your pedal is like this, it's, it's dangerous. Stop riding it and get a new, uh, new pedal. And the pedal I'm gonna be using to replace, it's a Wellgo MG5. It's actually a platform pedal that's uh, actually made for mountain biking. But I really love platform pedals on the road bikes because it's much easier to use and I don't have to wear a special shoes every time I ride my bicycle because we're all casual riders, uh, we're not pros. Um, also, when you buy your pedals, usually the standard pedal size, I think it's 9 over uh, 16, 9 over 16 uh, of an inch. But some of the pedal, like if you have a BMX bike, it's gonna be coming with a half inch, half inch sized uh, uh, thread. 
So make sure you're getting correct thread size for your bicycle. Okay, so okay, so of course, how like you have to try to find out which pedal is for the right side and which pedal is for the left. Usually they mark it on the pedal. Like for example, for example, this one says CRL. That means it's for the left side, which is the non-drive side over here. And the CRR is for the right, for the drive side. And uh, all the pedals are going to be same. It will tell you CRR, that's for the non-drive, uh, for the drive side. So all the pedals should be able to tell you. And you need to make sure you are installing on the correct side. Otherwise, it's, it's very easy to damage the thread inside your uh, crank set. Okay. So I'm going to be installing the left side first, which is non-drive side. Make sure it's CRL. And to install, you simply, if you have the bicycle, um, uh, it doesn't matter if you have the bicycle upside down or standing up, super, super easy. You just make sure you thread it or you align the thread. And for the most part, installing is easier than removing. So I'm going to try to align. Actually, it might be easier if I use a hex wrench because this one actually have a hex socket and it's size 6. I know that because it looks like a size 6. So we're just going to align it really nicely. And of course, installing is the opposite direction of um, removing. So for the for the uh, drive side, for the non-drive side, it's going to be turning counterclockwise. And uh, you can either use a socket wrench or for me, like most of the time, I just do this and just hold the, um, hold the little socket area and just turn until you wouldn't able to turn anymore. And then I use a wrench to just tighten it as a final step. Usually you need a torque wrench to tighten it to spec, but I'm just going to tighten it, hand tighten. Okay. I never had any issue with the pedal falling off. so. It should be okay if you hand tighten it tight enough. Okay, so I'm going to be installing the drive side and uh, CRR for drive side, and of course, installation is going to be opposite of removing. So for this one, I'm going to try to see if I'm able to just line it like this and quickly turn. Yep. So now, when the thread is lined, it's super easy to turn. Anytime when you feel resistance, something's wrong. It might be um, rock chips inside. So uh, try to clean the thread a little bit as well after you made sure that it is the correct side. Okay. So super easy. And now it's mostly tightened. All I need to do is uh, use my wrench to do the final tightening. Of course, hand tightening again. And let's see, this might be easier. And sometimes it's at a awkward angle. You just need to find a good pivoting point so the bike doesn't move around and then you can hand tighten it to spec. So here you go. Now um, I've successfully installed the bicycle pedal and removed it. Uh, the, uh, removed the old one and put the bike back on. And just take it off and it looks, it looks really nice. So um, I hope you guys find this video helpful. So if you, uh, if you guys have any questions about uh, um, installing and removing bicycle pedals, let me know in the comments section uh, below and I'll try my best to uh, help you guys. Thank you again and uh, take care.